Thank you, thank you for that very nice welcome. And uh, good morning, everyone. It's terrific to see so many of you here again. Uh, it was only seven months ago when we convened our first Iconoclast Summit back in November. And at the time, I congratulated Manit on pulling off what was the most successful event with the shortest lead time I'd ever seen in live event history. So thanks again. Thank you. And, <clears throat> Thank you. But, and, and it was the most successful event. You don't have to take my word for it, because uh, it must have been a big success, because here we are with another incredible lineup of speakers and three times the number of attendees. So thank you for joining us either again or for the first time. Now, and as I look across the room and as I've seen outside, uh, as we were talking earlier, I'm struck to see so many familiar faces, the bold faced names among Wall Street and investing elite. So this is truly an event where the pages of Forbes come to life. And that is an example of a modern multi-channel media company telling stories across digital, print, audio, video, and live on stage. So one of the questions I get asked often at events like this is how we're able to attract such compelling speaker lineups and convene such amazing audiences. Whether it's iconoclasts like you, our under 30 entrepreneurial capitalists, or the young creators of the TikTok generation. And really, it all comes down to dedicated journalists and professional and trusted journalism. The relationships that journalists cultivate with sources over years and even decades of solid reporting are the cornerstone of great investigative journalism and storytelling. And my colleague, Manit, who needs no introduction to most of you here, evidently this group over here in particular, <laughs> who needs no introduction. She embodies the finest ideals of the profession. Persistence, tenacity, drive, intellectual curiosity, and a desire to uncover the truth and deliver the story. Tough, but fair. Getting calls from reporters isn't everyone's idea of a great day, but it's these very journalists who are so important to our business ecosystem, and more importantly, to the proper functioning of our democracy. When done well, professional journalists develop Rolodexes that are unparalleled in their persistence and commitment, create trusted bonds that enable the kind of agenda that we'll see unfold before us today. And moderating our conversations today, in addition to Manit, are journalistic brand names in their own rights. Randall Lane, Diane Brady, Steve Bertoni, and Matt Schifrin. It is because of them and our dedicated colleagues in the Forbes new newsroom that Forbes ranks as one of the top five most trusted brands in media, according to the 2023 Trusted Media Survey. So it's in this spirit that we embark on our journey today, and there is no one better to shepherd us through this than my good friend, Manit, uh, or as she is more commonly known to many of you, at Wall Street, Manit. <laughs> so with Manit, thank you, and with that, take it away. Thank you, Fed. Well, thank you, Fed, Randall, Matt Schifrin, and the entire Forbes leadership for backing our shared vision in creating Iconoclast, a new global investment summit with a fresh Forbesian perspective. We are thrilled to be back here once again with the world's most influential investors, dealmakers, and changemakers. Our goal, to share key insights and bring clarity and inspiration to a world clouded by uncertainty. Last November, we gathered $20 trillion in assets represented in the room, and this year we're humbled and proud to share that we've met that goal once again. This is a testament to the convening power of the Forbes brand as a champion of entrepreneurial capitalism for over 100 years. Before we get started, I want to give a special thank you to our esteemed advisory board and speakers for their ongoing and early support. So without further ado, let's kick off today's program with our keynote opening conversation with Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon and our Chief Content Officer Randall Lane. Thank you all for joining us and I hope you enjoy the day. <laughs> 